Well guys, 2016 is almost in the books. It's been a pretty good year for me as far as metal detecting goes, but a pretty crappy year in general. I lost a lot of significant people this year, including my dad, my brother-in-law, and one of my very close friends. It's been tough. This hobby's been a real blessing. It's provided an escape from all the grief. You know, when you're out detecting, the only thing you're really thinking about is processing the signals you hear, no worries at all. Best hobby in the world as far as I'm concerned. Even though I'm still fairly new to the YouTube thing, I've been detecting for down near 30 years now and I just love it. Anyway, since the year is just about over, I thought I'd do a wrap up video showing my finds from 2016. I left out some of the large iron stuff because there's just not enough room to display it all and these are just some of the better items I've found this year. Not all of them are valuable, some of them are just things I thought were neat or interesting, whatever you want to call it. You've probably already seen the majority of this stuff if you watch my channel regularly, so I'm just going to pan over everything for the most part. Some old tire pressure gauges there. Old car tags. Things I found at the mill house. A couple of great seal buttons, an older variety and a newer variety. Some buckles, just random stuff. Over here I got my wheat pennies, most of them anyway. I gave a lot of them away. There's some old tokens and Stuff like that. On the left here, those are Indian heads. On the right, that's one buffalo and five V nickels. Here's my silver. I found a total of 80 silvers with 73 of them being coins. I was hoping to hit 100, but just missed it. I got two Morgan dollars. I got 28 half dollars, all walking liberties and barbers. Now keep in mind, both of these Morgan dollars and all but one of these halves are part of a disturbed catch that I stumbled on a few years ago. I've been hunting this spot since 2012 and continue to pull a few big silvers here and there, but, but on an average year and on my average hunting spot, I'd be lucky to find one silver half at that. So finding all these big silvers is definitely not the norm, but I'll take them while I can. Anyway, moving on down to the quarters, I got 20 total with a mixture of Barbers, Standing Liberties, and Washingtons. Got 22 dimes, a mixture of Barbers, Mercs, and Rosies. I got one silver nickel. And here's my other silver. I got a couple of sterling rings, three sterling thimbles, and some other silver whatnots. I only got two pieces of gold this year. I got a 14 karat man's wedding ring and part of a woman's ring that's also 14 karat. Didn't get any seeded coins whatsoever this year, unfortunately. That's about it, guys. I want to wish all of my fellow diggers a happy new year, and I hope you all make some great finds in 2017. See you next year.